So we've looked at quadratics, we've looked at cubics, so finally we're going to look at cortex. Okay? So the general cortic equation would say that ax to the 4 plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e equals 0 has the roots alpha, beta, gamma, and now delta. Okay, so we've got alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. So we would be saying that we've got ax to the 4 plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e, okay, um, can be written in the form of a times x take away alpha, x take away beta, x take away gamma, uh, x take away delta. So what I need to do is expand these four brackets out. So if I expand the first two, I would have x squared take away alpha x take away beta x uh, plus alpha beta. If I expanded the second two, we would have x squared take away gamma x take away delta x plus gamma delta. Now I need to expand those two brackets out. So we would have a lots of x squared times x squared is x to the 4. Then x squared times minus gamma x, so minus gamma x cubed. Then we're going to get minus delta x cubed. And then plus gamma delta x squared. Then minus alpha x needs to multiply with each of these. So minus alpha x cubed plus, uh, then we've got minus alpha x times minus gamma x, so plus alpha gamma x squared, then plus alpha delta x squared, and then finally minus alpha gamma delta x. Then we've got minus beta x times each of these, so minus beta x cubed plus beta gamma x squared plus beta delta x squared uh, minus uh, beta gamma delta x. Now we've got alpha beta times each of these, so we're going to have alpha beta x squared take away alpha beta gamma x take away alpha beta delta x plus alpha beta gamma delta. Whew. Right. Then we need to uh, multiply through by the a and factorise. So we've got a lots of the x to the 4. Okay. Then uh, for x cubed, we have them all being negative. Okay, so minus a lots of. And we've got alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. So alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta x cubed. Then for the x squareds, okay, we've got, um, where have we got? Alpha beta, we've got alpha gamma, alpha delta, beta gamma, beta delta, gamma delta. So all the possible ways of multiplying the two together. So plus a lots of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta, and that's x squared. Right, now for the threes, so for the x's, we've got uh, alpha beta gamma, alpha beta delta, uh, alpha gamma delta, and beta gamma delta. And they're all negative, so minus a lots of alpha beta gamma plus alpha beta delta plus alpha gamma delta plus beta gamma delta. Lots of x. And then finally, on the end, you've got a lots of alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Okay? So, if we marry up what we've got here with what we've got here, okay? So we've got the ax to the 4, ax to the 4, fine. Then we've got b 
must be equal to, so compare the coefficients, we've got b must be equal to this, so minus a lots of alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. So this implies that alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to minus b over a. Okay, so we've got that. We've got c must be equal to all of this. So a lots of alpha, beta plus alpha, gamma plus alpha, delta plus beta, gamma plus beta, delta plus gamma, delta. Okay, so alpha, beta plus alpha, gamma plus alpha, delta plus beta, gamma plus beta, delta plus gamma, delta must be equal to C over A. So we've got the sum of the roots, we've got the sum of the product pairs, and then finally we've got D, well, I'll, well, I'll, I'll include E as well. So D um, is A, or sorry, minus A, lots of alpha, beta, gamma, plus alpha, um, beta, delta, plus alpha, gamma, delta, plus beta, gamma, delta. Alpha, beta, gamma, plus alpha, beta, delta, plus alpha, gamma, delta, plus beta, gamma, delta, must be minus D over A. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. And then finally, we've got E must be equal to the A, lots of alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So alpha, beta, gamma, delta must be equal to E over A. Okay, so things to notice, right? As has been shown with quadratics and cubics, okay? You've got the sign keeps changing as the terms move on, okay? So we've got um, negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay, so they keep flipping sign, uh, keep switching, and you can see then that this, once you've done and seen quadratics, cubics, cortex, you can see how this can be extended ever further, okay, if you ever needed to go to quintics or higher polynomials.